Yesterday was the first day of December, so Fox News decided to start their annual Christmas fun. They tweeted, Earlier today, President-elect Trump showed he is following through on his campaign promise to say Merry Christmas. And then they have a quote of his, All the workers have a great, great Christmas and a fantastic new year. Okay, that is the saddest tweet I've ever seen. Look at how, look at this. Earlier today, President-elect Trump showed he is following through on his campaign promise to say Merry Christmas. Okay, let me frame this for you in a way that um, I think puts it in perspective as to how people on the left, myself included, see this. This is nothing but right-wing PC outrage. These are right-wing social justice warriors. Or as uh, my buddy uh, Leon told me, perhaps the better term for them is social injustice warriors. <laughs> They're social justice warriors. That's the authoritarian left that gets a little goofy with their, you know, you offended me with everything arguments. Uh, the people on the right who get offended at did you say Merry Christmas? Did you not say Merry Christmas? Did you say Happy Holidays? I'm offended! I'm offended! Those are social injustice warriors. <laughs> okay, guys, I need you to- I need you to take a deep breath and, um, take a get over it pill because this is the biggest non-scandal of all time. It's totally made up. By the way, on Christmas, what happens? You can't go anywhere in the United States of America save maybe Las Vegas because there's lights there year-round. But you can't go anywhere and not see, oh, look at all the Christmas decorations. You have, you know, fucking Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and you got elves, and you got Santa, and you got Mrs. Claus, and it, it, there's just decorations everywhere. You got the fucking manger with Jesus, the zombie Jew carpenter as a baby, and it, you, everywhere you go, go into any store ever, and they're playing Christmas music. I mean, you could go into a store that is not... It, it, that's like run by Muslims or Jews and they're playing Christmas music. <laughs> like it's just every, it's just Christmas, 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 in your face, in your face, in your face. By the way, I think it's something like over 90% of the American people celebrate Christmas. So 70%, about 70% say, hey, I'm Christian, but over 90% celebrate Christmas. What fucking war are you bitches talking about? What war are you talking about? There is no war on Christmas. If anything, there's a war on everything that is not Christmas. <laughs> the war is the opposite. Christmas is waging a war on everything. So, look, man, I've evolved on this. I'm cool. Like, I'm fine. I, I like the idea of having a, a, a nice tree with some lights on it. You know, I'm, I'm down with the holiday spirit. It's cool. But the idea that you throw a little bitch tantrum, a fit, Anytime anybody anywhere says happy holidays, which by the way, is the more respectful thing to do because you don't know the religion of the person. Now again, I know, I just told you over 90% of the American people celebrate uh, Christmas. Yeah, but what if it's five, one of the 5% or whatever the number is that doesn't and you say Merry Christmas? Well, then you're just assuming shit about them and why don't you just broaden it out, which is something that encapsulates Merry Christmas, but also encapsulates everything else and just say happy holidays. Seasons greetings, whatever the fuck it is. Look, I don't care. I don't care if you say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or any of that stuff because I'm not a fucking toddler. But that's what this is. This is Fox News with their own PC outrage. This is social injustice warriors. As they complain and bitch and moan about, you know, how kids on college campuses who are too sensitive, which by the way is true, that is a problem, you do the same goddamn thing. And as if this is an issue, as if this is a real issue, they run with this for a month, man. They're going to talk about the war on Christmas. You're a fucking, you're supposed to be a news channel. Can you do a goddamn segment about how 50% of the American people make $30,000 or less a year? How about a segment on 76% of the American people living paycheck to paycheck? How about a segment on climate change getting worse and destroying everything? No, I know, that one, you don't even believe in that one. You probably don't even believe in the economic facts either, of course, because you're Fox News. How about a segment on the fact that we're still involved in uh, multiple wars, and there's seven interventions going on, and the NSA is spying on everybody, and now recently we learned the FBI can hack millions of devices with one goddamn warrant? How about that? No, Bill O'Reilly's got a show to do about how, uh, you just, you disrespected Rudolph. You disrespected Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He's, he's got a red nose, and he's a goddamn reindeer. You guys sound stupid. 
because you are. Earlier today, President-elect Trump showed he is following through on his campaign promise. Campaign promise to say Merry Christmas. He didn't even say Merry Christmas in the quote. He said, great, have a great, great Christmas. Tremendous. Have a tremendous Christmas, let me just tell you. I just have to tell you. Believe me. In their mind, this is all that they needed to say he's a successful president. He's a successful president. He, he said Merry Christmas. He's a successful president. That's how low the bar is on Fox News to give praise to the Republicans.